everyone, good day. This is Miss Bell and today we are going to have a short video tutorial on how to use OBS Studio. Let's start! I believe creating a video presentation is not new for us teachers, especially at this time of pandemic, wherein we need to adapt with a new normal setting in our respective classrooms. And part of this is recording our own PowerPoint presentations or any presentations and sharing them with our class. And some of us may be using different applications, but let me just share with you one of the best applications I have used in recording my presentation for my class, the OBS Studio. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to record your screen using OBS. OBS is a free open source software and it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And in my opinion, this is probably one of the best applications that you can use for recording your screen because it is very configurable and it is very easy to use. The first thing that we need to do is to download our screen recording software and this is OBS Studio. By the way, OBS stands for Open Broadcaster Software. So first, let's go to this website, obsproject.com. And you can see here, there are three options, the Windows, Mac OS, and the Linux. And all we need to do is to download the correct version that is compatible with your computer or compatible with your operating system. So if, for example, you're using MacBook, you download this one, the Mac OS. If Linux, this one. And if Windows, you download Windows. So in my case, I have a Windows computer, so I'll just click Windows. If you can see here, we are downloading OBS Studio. So once you download it, go ahead and open it up. Now, it will prompt us to set up here. So just select Yes, and then another setup wherein we just have to click Next and then another next then let's click install so let's wait until we finish installing obs studio once the install is completed obs will automatically open and run as you can see it here in my screen so this is what you will be greeted with when you open obs it's this black screen over here and this is basically the video feed that your audience will be seeing Okay, so what we're going to do to start is that we are just going to add some sources. When you talk about sources, these are the multimedia sources. This is where you are going to insert your microphone. This is where you're going to insert the video capturing device or your webcam and so on. So the sources are very important now because these things such as a webcam, a microphone, or even a browser window or something like that, it's it's this one this is where you will add it so to get started what we're going to do is we're going to add our audio so that everybody can hear everything we say so we just click the plus sign here and then click audio input capture and then it will prompt us to this kind of setting we can um, we can use this as a default but if you want to rename it you can also rename it so let's just click OK and then it will um, show this setup. So I would like to use, since the microphone that I am using right now is um, this one, Jack Mic. Take note that we all have different settings, so it might be very different from yours. It could, you could use the microphone from your camera or microphone from your computer or speaker and then me i'm just gonna be using jack mic which is my earphones so i'm gonna click that and just click ok so you can see here it's already moving it means that our microphone is recording nicely so next we are going to add our video or our webcam so again, let's go to sources and then click the plus sign here and then look for video capture device. The video capture device, this is it, your, your webcam. So you can use the default name or you can also rename it. I'll just use the default name. 
So here we can see the video that is being captured by my webcam, which is the Logitech Brio. So it also, you might have different settings in your uh, devices. You might have, um, it depends on your device now, but for me, um, the webcam that I am using is the Logitech Brio. So I'll just click that and we can actually change the resolution or the size of our video. So for me, I'd like uh, to change it. So just click here in the resolution, custom. And then type the resolution that you would like. So for me, especially nowadays, um, a lot of vloggers use 19 uh, yeah there 1920 by 1080 so if you notice the, the the size of my video is bigger compared to the default size of of obs so after that just click ok and here you can see the video is too big so we can actually adjust it there you can adjust it and you can see the full screen of my video you can actually start recording if you want to record yourself and this one here will be the one that uh, everybody will be seeing but again no as teachers we are we usually use a lot of instructional materials such as the PowerPoint presentation so I'd like to make myself smaller we can actually adjust this anywhere you like in the, on the screen so we can put it here here or anywhere you like so i'll just put it here or maybe just here na lang. now let us add our powerpoint presentation in this video so how do we add we go back here to our sources and then just click the plus sign and there are two options in uh, adding our powerpoint presentation first we can use the display capture the display capture is actually uh, it captures the, the sc your screen, whatever is going on with your screen. Everything that I am uh, doing with my screen, it can be seen here. So we can use this. So for example, let's use this, the display capture. So let's click OK. And uh, you can see everywhere I, I move my mouse, it can be seen here on the on the video so if you notice the video capture device or the webcam no i am not found already in this video so what we usually do is just click the video capture device and move it up there so if you can if you notice um, we just position the video capture device to be on the first layer of our video presentation so if you want to start your recording you can just click start recording here and then you can go to the PowerPoint presentation and then you may start up your topic. Hello, good afternoon everyone. I am Miss Maridel and this is our topic for this afternoon. And then after that, you can go back to the OBS studio and then click stop recording. And that's it. You're done. Hello, good afternoon everyone. I am Miss Maridel and this is our topic for this afternoon. So another option that we can do in order for us to share our PowerPoint presentation is the option of window capture. So again, go back to your sources. Um, let's assume that we don't have the display capture yet. Let's remove this. So let's assume uh, we just have the microphone and the webcam. So what we're going to do in order for us to add our PowerPoint presentation is go back to our sources and then click the plus sign and click this one, the window capture. So I'd like to rename it PowerPoint. So we have this setting here. So in this setting, we can choose which window we would like to display for our video. No? So there are a lot of options depending on the windows that you have open. But for me, I would like to, again, since it's a PowerPoint presentation, I have to click the PowerPoint.exe or module one, which is my topic. And just click OK. So for others, oh wait, I'm at the back. So let's move this on the first layer so I can be seen. So here, usually other people would just like to zoom this in. And fit it on their screen no and once they go to the PowerPoint their PowerPoint presentation they can read their notes down here and then they just have to move which slide they are going to discuss okay but 
However, if you have some effects no, on PowerPoint, it won't be really appreciated with this type of um, option. So, what are we going to do for us to show the effects in PowerPoint? So, let's go back to OBS and uh, let's make this into full screen. Let's transform and then let's fit the screen. Okay, so what we're going to do is we have to change the setting here in PowerPoint. Okay, so go here on the slideshow tab and then click monitor, change it to primary monitor. And this one here, one of the most important part is to set up the slideshow. You click this and uh, choose browsed by an individual window. Okay, and then just click OK. There, we're all set up. We can then start our presentation. Okay, so we can... Um, start recording let's go to OBS studio let's record our presentation go to PowerPoint and then you just start from the top and discuss everything that you'd like to talk about so hello everyone good afternoon I am Miss Dell and today we are going to talk about this one and after that just exit and then go back to your OBS and then you stop the recording now where do we find our recordings we find it here let's click file and then show recordings and it will show us a, a file manager no and everything here all your videos in OBS that you have recorded will will be shown in this um, man file in this file manager so just click let's see if it was really recorded go to powerpoint everything okay. that you'd like right. to talk about so hello everyone good afternoon i am miss Del, and today we are going so i think that would be all so i hope you learned something especially on how to use the obs studio bye